Because the FBI policy is always to have its G-men better armed than the underworld, to have better weapons and to use them better. The agents must qualify every 30 days as marksmen to be ready for new Dillinger's, new babyface Nelsons. Machine gun sharpshooting from a fast moving car. Hoover supervising field practice and the target might be a gangster car. This is what happened to Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow in a battle with local officers.
and Prohibition marched on, leaving the ugly scars of violence in its wake. But the times were prosperous and the people carefree. They had packed up their troubles long before, and they seemed unaware of the new breed of gangster being spawned by the 18th Amendment. Al Capone was the cream of his crop. He was public enemy number one. And while the country was dry, his take was over $100 million a year over a lot of dead bodies. Prohibition provided an abundance of potential converts and evangelists like Amy Semple McPherson had a real field day. After 10 years, the nation woke up with a hangover, but it wasn't from bootleg whiskey. The stock market had crashed. The decade passed into history. <laughs> 